Hello students, this poem Elephant vs. Insect is about a football match between the elephants and the insects. There is a mismatch in the teams because elephants are huge sized animals whereas insects are very small in size. The poet of this poem, Elephant vs. Insect, is Alan Ahlberg. He was born on 5th June 1938 in England. Alan had written over 150 books for children, including classics such as Each Peach, Tear Plum and The Jolly Postman. Alan always dreamed of being a writer but first he became a primary school teacher. He was also nominated for Guardian Children's Fiction Prize. So students now I am going to explain you the poem stanza wise and this is the first stanza. The elephants and the insects came out to play a match. The elephants trampled in the jungle till they cleared a little patch. They scuttled round and trumpeted, just glad to be alive, until the halftime whistle when the score was 15-5. So students, in the first stanza of the poem, we find the elephants and the insects are clearing the patch of forest for making the football ground. And then we find when the half time raised, the score was 15-5. Means 15 goals made by the elephants and insects scored 5 goals. The insects in the second half brought on a sub Substitute, a modest little centipede. But brother could be shoot. He ran around on all his legs beneath the tropic sun and by the time he would finished, well, the insects they had won. So students, in the second stanza, we find the insects brought the substitute, a new player, to their team and that substitute was centipede. So students do you know the speciality of a centipede? Centipede has number of legs. So in this poem centipede played football well and he made the insect team won the match. So here we find that centipede scored number of goals to make Insect team won the match. Oh, tell us, said the elephants. We are mystified indeed. Why? Wait until the second half. To play the centipede? That's easy, cried the insects. As they carried off the cup. He needs an hour to sort his boots and tie his laces up. So students, in this last stanza, we find a very interesting fact that elephants are wondered and surprised. They ask the insects that why they brought their star player centipede so late. The interesting thing that the insects told was that the centipede takes one full hour to wear the shoes in all his legs. So this is the reason Centipede came late to play the match. Now I'll read the poem for you. So repeat after me. The elephants and the insects came out to play a match. The elephants trampled in the jungle till they would clear a little patch. They scuttled round and trumpeted, just glad to be alive, until the half-time whistle when the score was 15-5.
The insects in the second half brought on a substitute, a modest little centipede. But brother could be shoot. He ran around on all his legs beneath the tropic sun. And by the time he would finished, well, the insects, they had won. Oh, tell us, said the elephants, we are mystified indeed. Why wait until the second half to play the centipede? That's easy, cried the insects. As they carried off the cup, he needs an hour to sort his boots and tie his laces up.